Hey you all, how you doing? It's um, Sunday, October 19th, and what I've decided to do for this video, um, if I remember, there's some questions that I think I should answer, I'll <clears throat> try to, but before the end, but recently I um, had this deal go down with Kinetic in fact, recordings out of Greece via Savas Georgiadis, uh, someone who I've not met, but um, I can call a friend, uh, a friend in music for sure. And um, he endeavored to release on cassette and limited edition CD cassette this old recording of mine called Waystasis. This is an, an original of it that I made. <clears throat> I don't remember how many copies of this I made up as a CDR. There might be 25 or 30 of these. Um, I don't know. I, I can't even think who would have these, but it was um, using my imprint DVH recordings. And <clears throat> this is number five. So my DVH LPs are DVH LPs. These are just DVH, and this was number five. I thought recently I uh, listened to the whole album all the way through because it's been a long time. Um, seeking to um, re-familiarize myself with what it was here that um, encouraged. Um, Savas to uh, want to release re-release this. I'm gonna put it on in the background. The way that I had been talking about this album in general, here's the uh, reissue, the limited edition boxed version. 33 copies of this. This had sold out like right away. I have the last one, number 33. Really honored me the way he. Uh, presented this just very just so cool you know with the the photos of my artwork included you know the limited super limited edition only 33 CDs you know there's a total of 199 of these actually there's 66 cassettes and these cassettes are all numbered too I have number 66 out of 66 but I'm playing it in the background. The way that I've described this in general, in short, is that this way stasis is part of an ongoing um, body of work of mine where I'm working with sound, um, sampling, and <clears throat> I tended to forget how much I actually play on this album. Like, so for example, on this one, that's that's me and then the yeah that's percussion from my house here a little djembe I have and a shaker and then a little while back you heard some laughter oh that's my younger sister my younger sister's laughter from an old recording from sometime in the 80s and um you know when I was first do when I was doing these Experimenting with field recordings and just making improvised sound recordings goes back to um, the late, it'd be the beginning of the 80s because before that I really didn't have any equipment. But what was my intent in doing these things? Best I can tell you, honestly, when I listen to this stuff is it would be a matter of listening for interesting bits of sound and reconfiguring them. And I have I have the software now where I can do this like probably everybody else. You know, I can sample and play it on a keyboard and all sorts of things. But back when I made Sonospheres in 2006, I didn't have that, and so. The way that I made these was pretty labor intensive, you know, where I um, worked with um, loops 
of sounds and um, was basically teaching myself through doing this how to you know work in the uh, digital domain to a degree so does way stasis mean something no I don't even know what a way stasis is I don't think it is anything it's just two words that sounded good together to me honestly there's actually several two more songs in here where it's um, completely me playing on the instruments um, so like a precursor to um, the music that uh, I've been releasing in many ways I think um, the way that I've always approached listening to music like this, my, my head was first opened up to hearing sound like this through um, Steve Reich. You know, that was the first thing I heard as a kid, It's Gonna Rain, and then Stockhausen. But even though the music isn't necessarily impressionistic, my idea of how I approach to sound like this is listening and feeling for the impressions that it creates. And I don't have specific, you know, intentions for a lot of these pieces. It's really searching for the sound. I dare say that when I was doing these pieces, you know, I would listen to what I'm doing stacked up to other stuff like, I don't know, I think things that I was thinking of as contemporary would be like Nurse with Wound or things on the United Dairies front. I thought to myself, you know, um, you know what I'm doing isn't, isn't anything uh, mind-blowing, but it's, it seems to be a, an approach that I'm not really hearing um, too much of elsewhere. And um, that's that thought holds up, you know, this was um, done, I put this out in 2006, but some of these pieces go back as far as 2004 or maybe sooner, because like I said, I've been playing with um, sound for a while now. Like this one, Angel. This one is based on a, a sample of a Jeff Grinke piece. Jeff Grinke, G-R-I-E-N-K-E -E or E-I-N-K-E. -E. Some of you know his work. Um, even now that I've told you that, I don't. I doubt that you can recognize that it's a Jeff Grinke sample. Um, Maybe I did process this quite a bit before uh, looping it and then stacking the loops. This is an early, early favorite of mine from this, this album. Before I forget, I want to share that I, I followed it up, followed it up the following year with Tensegrity. And this one is actually much better. Now, Sabas had uh, access to both of these through my band camp, so interesting that he chose this one to release. Um, I definitely tried harder and feel that this um, recording, which is you can listen to online on my band camp page, actually is raised the bar from way stasis. Which is why I've been really, really personally pleased, chuffed, so pleased that someone else valued this work enough to um, make it available again, and to make it available actually in many ways for the first time to a general public. Because when I made these, it was just, I just made some CDRs and printed them out myself and pasted on myself. And I think I maybe gave a few away and I maybe sold a few but um, 
This is ambient. Spatial. Excuse me. And this is nice. This is nice work. So, go down to late Friday, August 27th. Here's one where it's a... This one is an interesting mixture of samples as well as sounds that I'm pretty sure this is the one where sounds that I recorded around my home. Listen for a minute. Also, to me, this is psychedelic. I know that there are some folks who would consider things like this kind of a little unsettling or maybe even scary, but I just don't get that from uh, listening to sound, especially sound that is kind of like this... Um, not well defined. It's like you can hear a voice and you hear you hear these things but you don't know what it is or why. The breathing. I, it's intriguing to me, you know. What I'm also happy about to share and also happy to share with you is that all these samples that I'm using to make these pieces are out of my re record CD collection, but I'd be damned if I can tell you what any of these samples are because I can't remember. I take, you know, every now and then I hear something that I can tell where it came from. So far today, I told you about one Jeff Granke, but all this stuff, I don't know. I can't tell where it's from. Let's try another one. I think that might have been the millennium, possibly. Uh, these birds are from some record, not they're not from the neighborhood or anything. Yeah, I still can't place where these sounds came from, which, again, for, for me, not for me, but again, it, that's part of the art of, of these pieces, is that, you know, this is stuff that I'm familiar with, and yet I've taken things apart to the point that I can't remember where I got the parts, and um, that's a good feeling. Every now and then, let me see, let me try one more time, let me see if I can hear something on this one where I can identify the... Uh, source of the sound. Well, right away, no, this one I'm playing. This is, uh, that's my synthesizer. Yeah, Juno 80. Okay, this is... Okay, I recognize the plane. That plane is from an Olivia Tremor Control album. Quite a bit of this is me playing a uh, plane.
Playstasis, you know. Savasa, if you happen to see this video, thank you so much for honoring me by re-releasing this in this configuration. As we can hear, it, it's very deserving of, of this. I'm hoping that some of the folks that bought this will actually take the time to listen to it. 